Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? First off, I want to give a shout out to all my Jewish friends who are celebrating Rosh Hashanah, the new year. Happy New Year, Lashana Tova. All right, I want to talk first of all, two things I'm going to discuss here in this video. Number one is uh, the market reaction following uh, the Fed's move yesterday, uh, a move that was uh, highly telegraphed. And uh, actually, the zombies are following my script absolutely to perfection. I said that when the Fed announced uh, the beginning of its balance sheet reduction, uh, which people who are unfamiliar with MMT, who are not schooled or educated in MMT, they are calling this um, removal of stimulus. And I, it was, I have explained to you in numerous videos how that is completely wrong just as when the Fed, uh, back when it was engaging in its extraordinary measures such as zero interest, zero percent interest and uh, quantitative easing and asset purchases, they thought that was inflationary or even hyperinflationary. They had that wrong as well. These people uh, just do not understand monetary operations and they do not understand that the balance sheet reduction is not removal of stimulus it is in fact uh the addition is it's actually the the uh it's actually stimulus uh because it constitutes uh um addition of income into the economy that previously had been stripped away via those uh, Fed asset purchases. But anyway, the zombies, they don't understand that. So what they're doing is they're selling gold, they're selling commodities, they're buying the dollar. Uh, I totally anticipated this. My MMT Trader subscribers, I told them exactly that this was going to happen. They're making money on this. Uh, but this process will reverse. And the major trades here, once this plays out and once the zombies uh, adjust their portfolios for what they believe is happening, which is removal of stimulus, it's all going to go back the other way. In other words, you're going to have uh, gold going up much, much higher. You're going to have the dollar going uh, much lower. Treasuries are going to go down. So that is going on at the moment. We have the zombie reaction. And by the way, I did send out some recommendations to MMT Trader subscribers. If you are not a subscriber and if you want those recommendations, then I suggest you go and sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and right there on the homepage, you can get the free trial uh, and you could download all the back issues and I will send you the emails. So, uh, number one, what we have occurring here today is the exact zombie reaction that I predicted. And by the way, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty humorous for me because I see a lot of the comments and I've been listening uh, to some of the, you know, the, the, the so-called pundits and they're talking about how this is removal of stimulus. Um, so somebody even sent me an email that he was watching CNBC today and, and some, you know, uh, supposed uh, big shot said this was quantitative tightening, which is hilarious. They do not understand. They do not understand monetary operations. They do not understand what this is. Number one. The second thing I want to talk about, oh, by the way, let me just make a comment about the Fed. Of all the years I've been involved in, in economics and following financial markets and as a trader, which is almost 40 years now, I, I probably would categorize this Fed, this particular Janet Yellen Fed, as the worst ever. They simply do not understand their role as monopolist and price setter. Everything that they do they do with an eye towards the market and market participants and you know trying to gauge what the market participants think they should do which is insane that would be like john d rockefeller when he was when he had standard oil an oil monopoly asking his little tiny competitors the ones that he crushed and put out of business it would be like him asking them what price he should set his oil at all right, it's absolutely insane that these people 
highly educated, Yellen and all these folks on the FOMC, have absolutely no clue that they are the monopolist price setters. So if you look at what the Fed uh, said yesterday in its comments and the dot plots, which forecast out to 2020, how, uh, how many more rate hikes, they're literally lining that up with what uh, the market is predicting, all right? So they don't do anything unless they feel that the market agrees with them or vice versa. They, they do what the market tells them to do, which is absolutely ludicrous. And it, it is a total failure of understanding that you, the Fed, are the monopolist and the price setter. So they're really, really clueless. Now, talking about cluelessness, this one takes the cake, and we've seen it over and over and over again. Standard & Poor's, uh, you know, th this bastion of, of complete uh, ignoramuses uh, downgraded the, uh, the debt of China, the credit rating of China, because they say China has too much debt. Now, Standard & Poor's, of course, and it's not just applicable to Standard & Poor's, but Moody's and Fitch, but Standard & Poor's, to me, takes the cake um, in, their, in their level of, of uh, you know, stupidity, does not understand the distinction between a currency-issuing nation and a nation that does not issue currency or one which has borrowed in someone else's currency. All of China's debt, if you even want to call it debt, because it's not, it's the same thing like here in the United States, all of China's debt is denominated in its national currency, the yuan, and therefore there is absolutely zero risk of China not being able to meet its obligations in its own currency. To downgrade the debt, as uh, S&P did stupidly, idiotically, to the United States back in 2011, and I remember being on TV the day that that happened and told everyone, buy treasuries, buy treasuries. People were panic selling because the credit rating was downgraded. That was one of the greatest opportunities to buy treasuries and the rates from there plunged down to historic lows. You cannot give a credit rating to a nation where all of its obligations and liabilities are denominated in its own currency of which it is the monopoly issuer of that currency. If you do not understand that and you hold yourself out there as a credible, serious firm, you are an idiot, you are a moron, you are a fool, Standard & Poor's, and that's what you are, all right? So many of these clueless morons, including the short sellers, People like, um, what the hell is his name? I forget. He runs a big hedge fund. And, and, and that other dopey guy who you don't hear too much of anymore, that Kyle Bass. All of these morons who have been predicting a debt crisis in China. They are complete imbeciles because they simply do not, either they do not understand, they're too dumb. And, and it's not a, a difficult thing to understand. We don't need Einstein here to explain this to us or to come up with some new theory. They're so dumb. Dumb people, you're dumb. China's debts, and they're not debts. China's obligations denominated in its own currency of which it is a monopoly issuer. There is absolutely zero risk of China not being able to meet those obligations in its own currency. To, to rate its credit, to rate its debt is simply asinine and it is a, a, a display of of your complete and utter cluelessness about economics and finance, Standard & Poor's. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. So hopefully, and I think China's uh, currency sold off on that, okay? That's a gift. That's an opportunity to go in there and buy the yuan against whatever currency basically you want to, the dollar, the euro, whatever. And by the way, on my trading platform, the Oanda, you can do that, and I have done that. So there you have it, folks. You have the zombies who are reacting, and they are basically, uh, what they're doing right now, the zombies, they're gathering up all their money because they're going to give it to me and my subscribers, okay? They're gathering, they're piling it up, they're piling it up with rakes and brooms and shovels right there in the middle of the room, and we're just going to go over and take it. Right? We're going to go over and take it. 
uh, because everything is going to reverse. This is not removal of stimulus. The Janet Yellen Fed is the worst Fed that I have ever seen in my life, and it's a Fed that does not fundamentally understand their function and their role and their power, that they are the monopolist and the price setter. And Standard & Poor's, you are a bunch of ignoramuses and you have no idea of what, by the way, this is the same company that rated all that toxic subprime debt as AAA. Okay, so there you go. Enough said. All right, everybody. Happy New Year to my Jewish friends. See everybody later. Bye-bye.